This is Standing Watch. And now, Evangelist Norbert Link. Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Standing Watch program. Will there be war between Russia on the one hand and Europe and the United States on the other hand over Ukraine? To be sure, the situation at the Ukrainian border and within Ukraine is very grim. The European Council of Foreign Affairs wrote already on November 17. Russia is mobilizing its forces. Moscow believes that the EU and US will not step in to protect Ukraine could lead it to take direct military action. Their mobilization is a sign that the Kremlin is at least considering the option of further incursions into Ukraine. Hostile Russian rhetoric towards Ukraine has increased over the last year. Reintegrating Ukraine into the Russian Empire is a declared aim of the Russian President, Mr. Putin. The impression of a weak West, underlined by the chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan, may convince Moscow that now is the time to wrap up its unfinished business with Kiev. And finally, current events around Belarus tightly connect Ukraine's security situation with the rest of Europe. So far this article. Now, Deutsche Welle added on December 4. U.S. intelligence officials claimed on Friday that Russia is planning a military offensive against Ukraine that could begin as early as 2022 which would supposedly involve an estimated 175,000 Russian military personnel. And so, Mr. Biden and Mr. Putin talked on the phone for about two hours on December 7, but without little success. Deutsche Welle reported on December 7, President Biden made clear that the U.S. and our allies would respond with strong economic and other measures in the event of military escalation, the White House said in a statement after the summit. The Kremlin also issued a statement after the call, saying that Putin had complained about NATO dangerous attempts to develop Ukraine for its own goals, and that he expressed concerns about Kiev's provocative actions towards Ukrainian regions controlled by Russia-backed separatists. Russia also said that they have drawn a red line and that they would not allow Ukraine to become part of NATO. NATO has responded that that is none of Russia's business. The Sun wrote on December 7. The Ukrainian defense minister told CNN that there would be a really bloody massacre if Russia decides to invade Ukraine. And let me just say that Ukraine has a very strong, powerful army. The article goes on to say that the defense minister also said that five million Ukrainian refugees are fleeing into Europe. And that is something Europe is not going to like. The New York Post said on December 7th, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan suggested Tuesday that the U.S. could persuade Germany to cut off the Nord Stream 2 pipeline if Russia invaded Ukraine. Now that claim caused an uproar among online critics who pointed out that Biden waived sanctions against the pipeline in May, despite concerns that it would weaken Ukraine's security by pumping gas directly from Russia to Germany. Now, this is not only going to weaken Ukraine's security, it is going to weaken Europe's security, Germany's security, because they are now becoming dependent on Russia. That must have been one of the greatest blunders perpetuated by Merkel and by Biden. Now, would Germany be willing to give up the Nord Stream 2 pipeline? That is highly doubtful. Let's consider this. The new German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is a former Marxist and socialist. And he also is not going to do anything to anger Putin. On top of that, the former German Chancellor Gerhard Schröder 
who is a party comrade of Scholz, is sitting on the board which is responsible for the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, that Russian board of that Russian company. So nothing's going to happen when it comes to that. But it's really immaterial as to what powers want to do, what they are thinking of doing, because the Bible has made it very clear thousands of years ago what is going to happen in these end times when it comes to these kind of situations. Let me just say that nothing is suggested in the Bible that there's going to be a major war between Russia and the United States of America prior to Christ's return. But the Bible also says that Russia and Ukraine will unite and they will become part of some Far Eastern powers and together they will fight then against Europe. And yes, they will destroy Europe. We have prepared a free booklet, Biblical Prophecy, from now until forever. It's free for the asking, just as for Biblical Prophecy. I'd like to read a few excerpts from this booklet to you. We say European forces will attack Russia, China, Japan and other Asian countries after rumors from these areas will have disturbed the Europeans and their leader, who is called actually the Beast, in the book of Revelation. And you can read about that in Daniel chapter 11. They will use weapons that will not kill, but only torment the Asian peoples for five months, as Revelation chapter 9 and verse 5 tells us. We go on to say that the tormented Asian nations will respond with a counterattack against Europe with an in invading army of 200 million. But their actions will be ruthless and merciless. They will use nuclear weapons of mass destruction and kill one third of mankind, showing that the effect of their actions will kill many Europeans, although it will not be limited just to European nations. Other passages tell us that ultimately Europe will be destroyed by these Asian nations. And then we say that the Bible shows us that after 10 European core nations, those 10 horns in the book of Daniel, in the book of Revelation, when those 10 nations, after they have subdued and conquered many other nations, they themselves will be defeated in war by the modern Medes in particular. Now, who are those modern Medes? They will have a major part in this coming war between the Far Eastern nations, including Russia, China, and others, and Europe. Who are they? Now, we have prepared a free Q&A titled, What Does the Bible Say About the Prophetic Relationship Between Russia, Ukraine, and Continental Europe? I'd like to read from that Q&A, and you might want to think in terms of what happened historically. Could it happen again in the near future? We say that in ancient times, the Medes lived in present-day Iran. Originally under Assyrian rule, they revolted against and expelled the Assyrians and imposed their rule over the Persians. They then attacked Nineveh and overthrew the Assyrian Empire. Under Cyrus the Great, the Medes and the Persians were considered as one people. The Encyclopedia Britannica points out that at least some of the Medes were not Iranians, or Indo-Europeans, but connected with the numerous tribes of the Caucasus. The historian Herodotus wrote that the Medes began to settle throughout the South Russian areas and present-day Ukraine. He stated, They say that they are a colony of Medes. Pliny wrote that the people who colonized the lands along the river Don claim to be descended from the Medes. And so today, modern Medes can be found in Russia, in White Russia or Belarus, and of course, the Ukraine. And so all these peoples will combine. They will become part of the biblical kings of the East, as they are called, and they will fight against Europe, not against the United States. Will Russia invade Ukraine? Maybe so. 
all the collaboration between these two powers will come about in other ways, but we know it's going to come about. But America will not fight Russia over Ukraine. I found this editorial, which was published on December 9 by Pat Buchanan, quite insightful. He wrote, A U.S. war with Russia over Ukraine would be a disaster for all three nations. And let me just add that most Americans would be totally against such a war anyhow. Nor could the U.S. indefinitely guarantee the independence of a country 5,000 miles away that shares not only a lengthy border with Mother Russia, but also a history, language, religion, ethnicity, and culture. Forced to choose between accepting Russia's demand that NATO stay out of Ukraine and Russia going in, the U.S. is not going to war. And neither will Europe go to war with Russia over Ukraine at this point. Now, that war will come later, as prophecy clearly reveals. So now, please ask for a free booklet, a free copy of Biblical Prophecy. And until next time, this is not a link for the Standing Watch program. Standing Watch is a presentation by The Church of the Eternal God, P.O. Box 270519, San Diego, California, 92198. More information is also available at our website, eternalgod.org.